Do you guys normally, I thought there was an, um, was a Thursday community call? Uh, the, the, the Thursday call has been internal at this point for the sake of grooming the Zen Hub board. Um, okay. Obviously, and, and now that we're recording, I will mention this as well. If anybody who is listening wants to get in on our, our somewhat pragmatic grooming call on Thursdays, they are more than welcome. Um, uh, either you know, hit us up in the Monday meeting or um, file an issue on GitHub. Um, totally everybody's welcome. It's just usually, it's just flat out grooming at that point. Um, you know, and anything that the community as a whole can benefit from, we save for this Monday meeting. Um, with that in mind, hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to the IPFest Documentation Task Force, Documentation and Developer User Experience Task Force meeting. Today is Monday the 26th of August, 2019. My name is Jessica and I am your slightly Monday adult host for today. We have a smaller group than usual because it is a British bank holiday. So those of us who are not on this call, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, we will be, as always, uploading this video. It's probably going to be a somewhat truncated meeting just um, because there are fewer of us here and um, we spent most of the week sort of all huddling on one specific item, which we can talk through. Um, I'm going to just go through and highlight the things as I speak to them. Perhaps that's annoying. If it is, let me know. Um, just a one-off item. We are in peak vacation season. Um, it is August. People go on holiday because it's beautiful, no matter where you are in the world. Um, if you do go on vacation, please remember to unlock as much as you can before you go on holiday. We've all been very, very good about that, but it's just an ongoing reminder as we're part of that season. Um, since three quarters of the team will be away next Monday, um, I am proposing that we cancel next Monday's meeting. As a result, I can check in with Chris Waring, um, who may be holding down the fort for us next Monday to see if he wants to do it, being that um, I think uh, external contributor presence on the meeting is fairly slim, although you know, we do have contributors hanging out in the um, repos and, and we're chatting with folks in that way. Um, I think we, we, we're probably safe canceling next Monday's meeting, but I'll double check with Chris, um, unless either of you have any reasons not to do so. Cool, cool. All right, um, so as usual with this meeting, we're just running through the OKRs one by one. Uh, content audit, frankly, this hasn't changed since last week. Um, the results work is, is being deprioritized since we lost the team member who was working on this work and need to stay up, ramped up on the hiring effort and then this last week on the quiz launch. Um, I do have the audit document and intend to sift through for the results gathering and that's next steps as soon as possible. Um, moving along to the docs platform features inventory. Again, this is something that we're adding on a rolling basis. The aim is to wrap this up at the end of quarter, do a ranking exercise so that it can dovetail pretty nicely with um, the actual platform discussion that we've been having as well. Um, so that's just being added to on an incremental basis. The nice thing about the work that we're doing right now is it's just continuing to expose needs for features that we want to have on that platform. Um, Chris, I understand it just added this, uh, the docs platform, tech stack and framework. Um, I know that he didn't get as much time as he wanted to last week because we ended up ramping up super, super hard on the quiz, um, which we decided that we were gonna do some testing on um, early in the week. And um, big thanks to Eric for mobilizing on that super quickly. We got a lot of very interesting conclusions out of that, both in terms of how the quiz itself um, need, needed to have some changes made. We, we did a lot of really good things on that. We can talk about that in a second, but then also just on some of our overall methodology for UX testing in general. So it's, it's been a, a very valuable exercise. Um, I know that Chris intends to um, continue working on the DocuSource stuff when he gets back on Wednesday. Um, again, stop me if I'm moving too quickly. Um, the recurring OKR item of hiring our doc specialist, that is continuing. Um, Molly, I know you've got some meetings this week um, with um, some folks that, um, I think both of those people who are, who are on your books are folks that have been spoken with with a bunch of people but since you were um, away in Berlin. Um, so, so you may be the last person that some of these people speak to for now. So I'm um, curious as to, to what, what you hear um, without you know, breaking confidentiality for a thing that is recording and being online. We can have separate conversations about this as well. I just want to um, preserve candidate privacy. 
Um, keeping in mind as well that we're also now I've, I've gone through every single candidate for both our role and for the Filecoin role, which at the very highest level is an extremely similar role in the sense that you can just put Filecoin wherever we put IPFS to a certain degree, at least at this point. Um, that does mean that if we get to the point where we've got a couple of people that we really like, um, that that's getting us that much closer to hiring a Filecoin role, which is awesome. Um, the flip side to that is that now that we've got help from uh, the recruiting team, which is awesome, that does add an initial um, step in that process. And I've been sort of running dual duty on the recruiter and the initial screening at one time. Um, that does take some of the load off of me as far as scheduling goes and, and adds another layer of due diligence, but um, it has pretty dramatically slowed the pace at which we are able to work. Um, since we've taken taken that route, um, I have not been able to speak to any of the folks um, who are, we, we've got a number of folks who are scheduled for an additional recruiter screen, one went through, um, and, but, but I haven't been able to um, have a hiring manager discussion with any of them yet. So um, just an, just an FYI, this is, this is slowing us down. Um, we need to decide if that's what we want to keep doing. On the other hand, I also don't want to look a gift in, in the face and say, no, thank you. Uh, because, you know, frankly, it's, it's very nice to have that additional layer of diligence. Um, yeah, so, so that's something that, that we all need to have a think about. Um, it, I'm, I'm perfectly happy continuing at the pace that we're continuing at, but it might mean that we don't have this person onboarded by the end of the quarter. Um, it was already starting to look a little bit like that. I also, but, but I also don't want to rush into the decision just for the sake of being able to get somebody on our books and help them out. Um, the, the interviews that all y'all have this week may help answer that one way or the other. Um, but it's something that, that we need to keep in mind. Um, persona stuff. Yeah, so, so as, far as, the, as far as the docs hiring, I'm gonna suggest that we table that for this week, see how we feel this time next week and see if, see if it's something that we wanna change our approach to um, in a week's time. Um, persona work. Uh, we had a meeting on Tuesday where we went through the draft, um, had a lot of really good conversation about it. Um, the challenge to everybody was please add your comments and your thoughts to the mural document by roughly the end of Wednesday. I know Terry's been through it. I know Molly, you've been through it. Eric, I'm not sure if you've been through it. Um, Cause I think you've been pretty much tied up with the quiz stuff. That's been a huge effort. I think the request is just um, please go through, add your feedback by Wednesday. Um, so that, you know, I've been incorporating that as I go along, um, resolving comments and removing stickies. The plan is to, is to do two things, um, follow up with some of our quiz testers, um, who we spoke to last week. Um, all of them were willing to have further conversations with us, which is wonderful. Um, just a series of one-on-one -on -one conversations where we walk through the persona. Um, see what their, you know, how they feel about alignment with one or more of the roles um, and use that as a, as a baseline exercise. Um, plus, I've also been talking to Dan Shields in Denver, um, and we're going to do um, probably a combination of a day-long open access discussion about Persona. Um, as well as he's going to host an IPFS Colorado meetup in Boulder in October. That was the next date that he was able to do it, something like October 16th, I think, middle of October. Um, that's going to be prefaced by free co-working. Technically, we need to sort out the budget. That's a discussion that I need to have to see you know, what, what we can budget in, um, because to a degree, we'd be subsidizing that co-working for folks. Um, so people who want to take part in that can come and co-work um, at, at Boulder Peregrine for a day and then also come in and, and sit in with us and, and have a discussion about the persona. I think that would actually be hugely valuable. Um, I just need to figure out the best way to approach the budgeting situation for that. I need to have a, have a chat with them, with Phil. Um, so keep that in mind. That's cool. Um, you know, we're still, even, even though that, that meeting is in October, I think that still is helping us out as far as you know, OKR-wise, we will have completed what we said we would complete, which is to get a good starting working draft of those persona out about that has been socialized and edited based on feedback of, of 
a, a batch of those, which will be those, those quiz test groups that I'll follow up on before the end of the quarter. Um, so that does overlap into some of the work um, for Persona for, for Q4, which is, which is great because I mean, we're already sort of starting on plans for that. Um, continuing on, um, tactical hot fixes, this is entirely on my head. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to resolve this um, at this point. Uh, we did ship a whole bunch of variety. If you, if you, go, through, um, if you go through the Zen Hub board, um, we did ship a, a, a rather large variety of proto school fixes. Um, not all of them are hot fixes, but a lot of them are sort of, sort of minor incremental changes in advance of Diego's departure. Um, since Terry shepherded those, I'm afraid I can't go too deep into exactly what was done for each of them, but they, they scrambled super hard last week to get that done. Uh, the remainder of our team was distracted because we, we all huddled hard on quiz testing and implementation. That pretty much killed everybody's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, which was great because we got a lot done. Um, but to be completely honest about it, we need to do better at maintaining our original pace of hotfixes, even though we've lost a third of our team members. That's going to be the, that is the, the metric by which the community is, is getting direct benefit from what we're doing. The strategic stuff that we're working on is just fine. But even though we've lost a third of our team, we need to be maintaining the original pace of hotfixes. Um, anything less than that just isn't good enough. And that is entirely on my head because, um, I have not, you know, we had a list of these things that Portia was accumulating as she was doing her content audit. Um, and those were the ones that were the low hanging fruit. They were the ones that were easy to fix or were very rewarding to fix. Um, I need to go through and look at what she's put together and I need to be prioritizing those and I need to be putting those into GitHub issues that the, that the, the remaining four of us can execute on. And I have not done that because I have been busy with other things. Um, Honestly, I think what that means is, is going to be second shift until that gets fixed or it doesn't get fixed and we need to make that decision. So either that's something that I need to somehow uh, create a time for or, or it doesn't get done. And considering that this is the, that this is the work that the public sees, um, I think it's, it's, you know, it's important that that gets taken care of. So, yep. Yeah, I think um, especially because the, the docs repo has um, been getting more, more attention from folks in the community now that there's been more progress. And um, I think people are also kind of excited as, as um, a place where there's not a super high intense bar of, of contribution where, you know, great, you need to be a distributed systems programmer with X many, you know, experiences building file systems, blah, blah, blah. Um, so to the extent that maybe it's possible to create an issue for the task of looking through this and trying to prioritize, like maybe there are ways to um, to try and uh, utilize some of the the people who would otherwise be excited. I know some folks on the proto school side of things are are looking for ways that they they can get involved. Um, and so, I, that's 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 definitely a good approach. Um, I mean, sort of sort of my devil's advocate issue on that is that I know you know, we do we do have. Um, and one of the things that we did right off the bat was go through all of the existing open issues um, and, and label anything that would be um, sort of, you know, not a, not a low bar to entry, but something that you don't have to be super deep in the system to be able to contribute to. There are a number of open issues that um, are open to community contribution effort. You know, we're not just being like, no, no, you, we don't have anything to do for you until we have this task. I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely a lot set on the repo right now that folks could contribute to um, should they wish. But I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more, you know, we were, we were very, very diligent about being able to knock out some of the very small sort of Hugo related code changes, things like this, like, oh, you know, here's, here's a set of typos, here's some broken links. Um, of course, you did a wonderful job at addressing a whole bunch of those and we got a bunch of them looked through. I think what, what we're, what, what I'm a little bit more concerned about is, is going through what we've got and putting together, you know, honestly, the beginning of an architectural plan that we can then separate out into more topical tasks, like split this thing into these two things <laughs> or, or create a table of contents um, emphasizing work that hasn't been done yet. Um, and while we have a whole bunch of work that hasn't been done yet, a bunch of explainers that we're soliciting um, help on so forth, um, it's going to take a little bit more of a of a strategic examination of, of the audit material that Portia put together. Um, and frankly, it's just not something that I've been able to do yet. Um, 
I know, Eric, you and I were talking about maybe, I mean, it's not something that, you know, you have to have like some sort of information architect superpower to do, um, but it's just, I think it's something that if, you know, one person or ideally two or three people could just huddle on for a week, um, ideally even, you know, like in a perfect world, in a perfect world, this is something that's right for real time collaboration. Um, I think we get a lot done. Um, and I know Eric and I had been kicking around the idea of maybe actually meeting up in person and, and knocking this work out, but um, whether or not that's viable is kind of a different question. Um, so, so yeah, um, I'll keep on that. Um, but it's something, it's something I feel that, you know, that, that I need to prioritize. And if that mean night, if, if, if that's my second shift for a while, then that's my second shift. Um, moving on, um, Eric, do you want to talk about the front page quiz work since you shepherded a lot of this? There's a, there's a lot that's, that's gone on here and probably, um, we need to add some notes to this document as well. Sure. We, um, yeah, we had a, a quick round of, of use usability tests. Of course, it was uh, largely internal, although we had was it two participants from the community or when we did have one who, uh, yeah, yeah, we did have two. We had three who signed up, one who did not show. Um, only one no show in a, in a round of testing is pretty dang, dang good, I think. Um, but we, we had some good learnings that we're able to um, that at least gave us some good fodder to, you know, to, to discuss, which uh, Chris and, and uh, Jessica and I did in short order. And then the, the, those notions were implemented uh, or acted upon quickly. And I actually have a, Chris has pushed, it looks like Chris has pushed. Oh, I can't share. I think he just pushed it. Uh, Chris has merged to master um, for the, so I don't know if anyone has that running locally, but if, if you want to relinquish the share, I will just quickly go where we are at. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, we landed on you know the the two buttons. This being literally how it works, literally you know, taken from the um, from the uh, header on the page. Uh, but this is this is very similar to what we had. We we kept the get started, although it might be a bit of an overpromise um, in terms of you know some of this is not immediately actionable. Uh, we, we do want to. Uh, you know, IPF is, is indeed, you know, we, we, we want to put it out there as something that can be used and should be used right now, especially for forward thinking you know, people who want to help make this new internet. Uh, so we simplified uh, the selection. We, we removed the, just the, the basic learn more. Um, and we figure that most of these people will go to the how it works. And so as we're tracking both of these buttons, that will give us some insight as to who is really a very basic, uh, has a very basic interest in IPFS and really kind of not ready to explore in any kind of a meaty way. Um, I don't, I won't walk through everything because we're running short on time, but a few other things we did were to uh, remove the, pull the, uh, the subheads into the meat in, out of, out of the overview and into the, uh, actual expanded accordion in order to get an easier scan out of things. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'll be really interesting to, to see what people drive into the, the something else we initially wanted to do, uh, like a, an open form feedback, but a couple that technically that would be a little iffy. And uh, so for now, you know, just in terms of, of overhead of uh, dealing with that, Right now, we're just going to track how many people click on something else, um, and then uh, follow up from there. 
there's a couple of reasons um, just just because of how the site is published yeah there doesn't exist a mechanism for um, including an open-ended form and implementing that was out of scope um, considering that this this site itself is probably going to undergo some very very significant changes real soon now um, what Chris has done with the metrics is set up um, a sort of miniature funnel with this as it were um, you know we, we are aware and um, and some of this was was confirmed um, in our in-person testing um, that these links themselves are not um, an ideal finish state. Um, you know, in an ideal finish state, we're offering very very good parted out means of an end in here. Um, what this is is about getting baseline metrics in place, um, which Chris has outlined in the test plan, which is linked to in the um, in the meeting notes. As to you know, this is going to help us prioritize the sorts of documentation that people are going to be looking for first. Um, so using this in conjunction with um, the information that we come up with in, in the content audit um, and just our overall strategic approach, this is, this is going to help us prioritize the documentation that we write and, and produce and improve first. Um, we also, um, this also gives us, this, this first two buttons at the very top give us an initial branch of people who um, you know, the depth to which they want to learn about IPFS, you know, the, the learn more versus get started folks. Um, that's helping us really just have an initial inventory of, of, of the sorts of branching that we want to do. This is going to help us um, uh, zoom in a little bit harder on um, whether our personas are effective and um, what aspects of which personas we also want to include as we as we continue things. Um, that said, we also, um, and, and Eric is, is writing up a test result summary. Um, we sort of divided and conquered on this. I, I went through the raw results and did a whole bunch of implementation um, in the code, which Chris then cleaned up and fixed for me. Um, and then we spent, we spent a lot of time on Friday um, walking through our motivations for acting on, on all of the test feedback. So while I was doing that, so Eric's been working on actually putting together um, a summary of what we learned <laughs> rather than just flat out implementing it. Um, and then because a lot of things we learned, you know, flat out weren't related to this quiz effort itself, but related to the, the front page of, of IPFS.io itself. Um, those are going to be invaluable as we start thinking about changes that we want to make to this page overall. So we got a whole lot of really good data out of it, as well as just some functional feedback about how we want to do this sort of moderated usability testing in general in the future. So. Yes. Yeah, because many of these folks, all of these folks, or most of them were very familiar with IPFS. And so, you know, they have ideas. And so we don't want to just shut them off and say, no, 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 no. Does it look like something you can click? <laughs> that also, that also um, hugely underscored a lot of the things that we're learning um, from a variety of angles about the importance of you know, what, I, what, I, what I've been kind of calling quasi-case studies and um, our approach to that level of, of real goal-based depth of integration tutorial stuff. Um, and and, and that, that was hugely helpful. I want to dig in a little bit deeper than that. Um, that said, we are running out of time. Um, the final agenda item Twitter school updates. Terry and Diego did an amazing job of, of pushing a, a ton of stuff out um, before we lost Diego, but um, it remains to be seen how we move forward in his absence. Um, is, I will um, kill off this recording and let us all have the remainder of our day back um, unless anyone else has anything that they want to add at this point. All right, thank you so much everybody for your time. I will upload this to YouTube ASAP and we'll go from there. Thank you so much.